And with that, welcome to another stream of the Red Orchestra 2 Rifle Cup 2015. Today with three matches on the line who will be definitely deciding their groups. And um, today I have two men with me. I have on the one side helping me with co-commentating Mr. General Field Marshal Sir Anthony. And on the other side it's finalized already in here. Welcome guys. Hey, hello guys. Hello, hello. So nice every see you here, Anthony. Yeah, thank you for having me, guys. Yeah, take a room, base. So <laughs> <laughs> we have three matches on the line tonight, and we will definitely take a look on two of them. We have GRD, the Thirteen Guards Rifle Division, facing Union in Group Number Five, I think. What is really interesting because already Liga have two wins after last night and already through this group and Union and Ferdinand Guards with three points at the moment tied on the second place. So guys, what's your experience or what you thinking about this game? Maybe finalize you have a little bit more inside knowledge about that. <laughs> uh, let Anthony answer first, for first. I'm just a bit busy for one minute, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I have absolutely, you know, no uh, no experience with uh, with uh, any of these teams. So uh, I can only talk. I saw Meow once, uh, and uh, and of course uh, PB, um, uh, while uh, re streaming uh, the uh, the normal uh, tournament. So my experience with the teams in this uh, rifle tournament is, uh, you know, very limited. For okay. Now. So the second match is then Men of War United facing against FR, so the underdog against the favorite or a top seeded team because FR winning the last TE League, but struggling a little bit in the beginning. They are facing in group number three, where Rifles with Attitudes, the team of Doomshooter and uh, already having two wins in their pocket, Iron Cross with two points out of three games, so they are mostly out I think. And Fossil Revolutionara just draw against IC and uh, Men of War United also with just one point at the moment. So a win for both teams mm -hmm. would be important if they want to go in the knockout bracket. And of course... Yeah, yeah right. there, we can, there you can say maybe. Yeah, fine. <laughs> one minute uh, is over. <laughs> Alright, I'm seen. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, uh, lots of close, important matches for lots of teams tonight. And uh, FR versus Meow United is quite interesting since Meow United uh, they they are new players but they are very strong rifles and on the other other hand on FR we have more experienced players and strong uh, skills so that's going to be an interesting match and in the group both teams have one point so it's a crucial match for both teams indeed. Yeah and with this match we start soon on your stream and then we have in about 30 minutes, I think the game of the evening for now, it is PB, the Russian powerhouse facing against the new team in Rival Cup, NOD. But NOD starting really well yesterday with a victory in group number two. What was a little bit surprising against 3D. Yeah, I was, I was surprised with the result. I was expecting a draw or a 3-1 win for 3D, but NOD came in strong and took the win, so uh, it's interesting to see how well they will play against the stronger Russian side, Strafa, PB coming, very strong riflemen, everyone in that squad, so it's going to be ex exciting to see how it ends up. Mm, I'm totally agree but with you that. But you guys don't have the best, uh, best, uh, the best uh, record for guessing what teams are going to win, you know, I saw, <laughs> I saw your bets on uh, <laughs> 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 when we played, I'm painfully aware of that, and uh, so wouldn't uh, recommend any of the listeners or viewers to uh, follow your advice in the betting. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you could read. <laughs> true words sometimes hurt so much. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree with that. <laughs> but there are many, many um, surprises in this tournament already. Also, FR don't win against IC wasn't expected like that. And uh, on the other hand, Man of War United also playing a draw against IC, so definitely looking forward for a close match, as you said. It's the underdog against um, normally a high quality team there. But 
I don't see anyone on the server yet. Yeah, me neither. I was just speaking. So if not, nobody I'm so. Hopefully, we're gonna start not in less than five minutes, mostly or something. The good point is Usually you have Union and GRD at the same time. So. <laughs> I, I think the Union Charity match was moved. It starts in like one hour or something. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna be smooth. Smooth three matches. First, maybe not big and watch that. Then have those two matches and not. And after that, Charity and Union starts. And Charity Union. That's another very exciting match. Three exciting matches because Charity it won Liga and Liga won Union and IDF as well. So Charity might even... Uh, I didn't expect them to be so strong, but they can even surprise and win the whole group if they win Union tonight. Yeah, I think 13 guards rival division was a surprise for everyone because it was a totally unknown team. No, It was just a mixed team of players for... I think uh, one FR member have opened a team together with one member from second Falschemiege or something like that. So, yeah. it was an interesting group up, but it works. Yep, and it'd be fun to see how they do against Union. Union, as everyone knows, a strong, strong team as well. And I think for the next season in the Winter Offensive, also a team of uh, number one uh, of the, I would say, it, on League One or no, how, it, how we say it? I don't yeah, know. First Division. First Division, thank you. So yeah, and yes, Union signed up for first division. So it's gonna be nice to see them step up. They have developed so much in the whole game in the uh, last year, so much, so much improvement. So they are thinking they are ready to challenge division one, and that's great to see a new team up there. So I'm just and a little shout out to NOD. They uh, signed up for the second division. So. Really coming up to the creative scene there. Nice. New blood. So are you guys protecting any special tactics on any of these maps? Are there anything specific we have to watch out for? Mm, when I look to a Man of War United against FR matchup, I'm really hoping that Man of War United learn from the game against um, Rivals with Attitudes. And I don't see the IC match, but I think they will move forward because... Um, if you can't beat them by skill, just run them down. Pretty simple, like Sugi mm -hmm. does. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm specifically excited for the car station map with that uh, with the high ground. Uh, I think car station is uh, one of the slowest paced maps ever. So it's mm -hmm. hard how to have a tactic because you have to defend the outsides on left and right. Maybe have a look at the top and mm -hmm. also look into the. Uh, car station itself, so um, the overview yeah. for the players isn't good on this map. No, but it's especially, um, I would think that, that there is a lot of uh, opportunity for total domination from the high ground. If you get the to, person to up there. pick your fights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and or it, perhaps put two people up there. I don't see that that much. I just see the match between IDF and Liga who was played on car station already, so uh, the mm -hmm. map wasn't so often played in the live streams and um, there was really really slow combat because everyone want to defend their uh, back end and was scared of a run through to one of the sides because if one sneaks to one of yeah. the three lanes can be over and everything huh? uh, I'm alive why the cap is done happens <laughs> but especially my in my experience with that map i played it uh, a couple of rounds and uh, and you're actually able to defend your own cap from the back of the uh, of the top of, of the of from the top of the building looking back down the staircases so with just one guy you are able to defend your cap and you can be pretty aggressive from the top that's um, true I, I we tried actually actually to having a run through where we actually put three guys on top and and actually attack by the staircase. Okay. So it is, it is going to be interesting to see what 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 uh, what tactics are developed on a new map like that. If you guys say it isn't. 
and it if hasn't you, been played that much. Yeah, and really, if you have developed a tactic for that, who who working, you definitely can surprise an enemy who is maybe on the shooting skills better than you, but in the end losing by yeah just outplayed. To say because mm -hmm. nobody knows where the enemy is. It's always more dangerous when you know where the enemy is and just hit him because you can stay down. So and there's I find midway it's very interesting. Midway to be a very interesting map with those boxes in the middle. Always a lot of fun develops around those boxes. That's true. I think midway is the completely other side to um, to car station because it's I think the fastest map. The maps are every time the same side and uh, have the same. Mm. Yeah, I think it's uh, built on this in the same ground, but the midway looking much closer because it's more open and you can have a better overview over the whole map at the... I have breaking news. Hey! Uh, the first the first match, uh, Meow United and FR, isn't gonna start yet, it's delayed. Sure how much, but maybe half an hour or something. So, we are a bit ahead of schedule here with the stream <laughs> after all. No. It seems the first match will start in 20 minutes or something. And I think uh, that will be then PB against NOD and GRD and Union also removed uh, 30 minutes later there. Uh, one hour later for them, so it's about 9.30 p.m. Yeah. How can that happen? So it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Anyone need to die? So blood. yeah, you need to find out the big uh, stats uh, stats uh, folder now and start talking about some stats here. It's gonna be uh, <laughs> some gonna stats. Same people start singing or something. Yeah, uh, Let's the, the check out the rifle world cup. That's for most deadly players and no, that guess who is the leader? Shafi. <laughs> really? No wonder it's Shafi. <laughs> but um, leading alone, alone in the thirty plus. 32.3 kills per hour. It's calculated kind of like per round. It's three minutes per round, so it's well, it's not exactly accurate, but at least it gives a good direction of the kills. So Scarfy leading with quite a nice head, over <laughs> five points more than the next. Hmm. I think more interesting That's for Anthony is players. what he told me earlier that his team are the Four team exactly. in most deadly teams, uh, because what we yeah. have to notice is right that the top team. at the end they are also the team with one of the most played rounds in a single match. I think because <laughs> there was I think <laughs> seven or eight <laughs> draws. All lies. <laughs> All lies, yeah. Everyone <laughs> see that <laughs> on Spreewald. Everyone uh, yeah. saw that eight rounds or something like tied, and yeah, you're getting more kills if you play more rounds, <laughs> even if it's going to a draw in the end. But um, hey, it's cool. <laughs> so in the most deadly teams, PB is leading. Who are playing against NOD, who are always on top. I think seventh place is it on the most deadly team. So definitely looking for a bloodbath. <laughs> and Strafbot, they have shown they are the in this game, and like we can see, they are the only team for 20 kills. Strafbot very strong all around. But that was definitely expected from them. Strafbot is still a favorite for yes. me in this tournament. And uh, same here. As we already noticed, Forgotten Honor yeah, is I'm on uh, point. I, uh, you know, I would like to play them in the final for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't, if we don't get the pleasure of knocking them out before. Nice. Hey guys, I will be back in thirty seconds. So you don't even need your, the skills mostly, sometimes it's enough if you shout out loud <laughs> and then it will work. It's all about shouting, shouting, shout some more. Maybe you are lucky and they have just two, uh, two <laughs> players to play your match. <laughs> like a 4 and 2 then. Yeah, what? <laughs> I would say that uh, that we respect the uh, teams but uh, we believe that we have the skill set necessary to beat anybody. So. Uh, Shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. We, uh, you see us uh, come go far. Yeah, and we like to be uh, to have surprise uh, to teams. To In 2013, notorious yeah, winning there. the tournament was totally unexpected. Mm -hmm. 
nobody knows the team before. Ex exactly on the second place, Fila Bold Men, also n never known as the as a good team, yes, but not as that good that they're going to a final. And also on third and fourth place with 40 to 1. And I think IDF was also a semi finalist, having mm -hmm. three teams here, what a little bit underperformed in their first matches. But but it is in my experience here in in, in this uh, rifle game mode is that it, for sure when if if you play tactically smart, you know you don't have to, you know that you can do a lot with good tactics. That's true, I totally agree because it's like, more about positioning. It is and and of course if you get ahead with that one or two points, now you don't have to attack. That's true. So you know, um, there is uh, there is the the, uh, the whole thing of let them come to you, you know if you're ahead you do not have even though if they have one player or two players left and you have four, you know you don't have to attack you can easily just let the time run out. And this is I think a tactic was improved in this tournament by RRC or first seen by them that uh, you really think about the tactical issue if you're leading don't go ahead and just doing a little bit more of waiting stuff, what was totally unknown before this event. And um, yeah, you bring some mm. new tactical ideas into it. So <laughs> we will see which yeah, team will counter that. Yeah, it's uh, but it is the, the whole notion that why attack if you don't have to attack? It's all about your know, positioning yourself to win. And um, But again, you know, you have to be able to pick that first round. You have to be able to get get the first round and you need that I've, I've tested it out and you actually need it takes four seconds to cap the point so in in, in, in all theory you need four seconds at the end to, to be in the point for four seconds that's all you need okay yeah so so in, in my opinion like it, it uh, Moving, you know, moving before at least the one minute mark, moving out of position, is kind of stupid, in my opinion. You know, digging in, waiting that the first sixty seconds, you know, is always a good tactic. And it will be really interesting know, to what, see. What, uh, what you think? Uh, it depends on the game style of every team, because as you said, yeah. It can be a good mm -hmm. tactic already if you spotted the enemy. So, uh, if you have the overview and the map control, you can doing a lot. But because but the problem can be really if you have teams like RWA showing well, getting after the breakout fast kills, uh, what totally destroyed your game mm -hmm. plan. If you get lost one or two players in the first twenty seconds, uh, and then you have exactly. openings in the field, you can demolish before the first thirty seconds are out. Exactly, and 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 that's what I see in this uh, in this game. But my experience is for sure that if, if you get if you lose a guy within the first ten seconds, the game is probably going to be over within thirty seconds. I think more also about the other team is going to smell blood, you know, and attack. Yeah, and there's also the difference if you have a team who's good in the breakout and then don't use the advantage to clean up the round. It can be roll against mm -hmm. because if the other three members who are alive of the enemy team control the map then and try to mm -hmm. get one or two sneaked out, the point definitely throw over and uh, we have a complete turnaround there. Yeah? So it really depends on the enemy who is playing and about your change style, uh, game style. And if you have both in your pocket, you can play the defensive part and also the aggressive part. I think mm. that's the clue to win the tournament. Exactly, and, 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 and for me, like I have a principle I talk to my team about at least, you know, within the first 60 seconds, we only move, uh, we only move sideways, pretty much, you know, we do not want to advance, you know, we want to get to cover, we want to get into a defensive position, but we do not, we do not want to advance, you know, it's all about angles, I see this game is a, is a game about angles, how do you place yourself accordingly, with what angles the enemy can achieve, so, Within the first, uh, within the first 60 seconds, you pretty much just want to move sideways on the map. Yeah. Um, so, but uh, what about the, if you, we have people watching here? I see we have four people watching. So, uh, you know, because of the like, are you the more aggressive types or? Uh, 
the more t aggressive types or are you the uh, more defensive types? No, just uh, put it in the chat so we can get an idea of uh, what kind of people we have watching here. For sure. One, one thing I experienced at least when we played the first game, I always wanted to go for my hand grenade. <laughs> there were so many times you just thought, oh shit, I'm gonna nade him. <laughs> and it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I didn't have any hand grenades. So. Yeah, so you see the thing of a rifle cap. No grenades, it's just rifle cap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, that's the, but it's just the, like, the instinct of when you played a lot the, of the normal game mode, so. <laughs> That's definitely true. So I will set up, I think, in a few minutes there will be the setup for the Steam that everyone knows that we have matches on account. We don't announce it yet because we're thinking mm -hmm. about more to the NOD and PB match as the match of the day. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be very interesting actually to see if, if North is, you know, if, if they're not impressed, let's say that North, North it do not know NOD do not know how good, you know, the reputation of uh, of uh, of a, a PB. You know, perhaps they're just gonna play, you know, and not be afraid of them. That might be a a, a good thing. That is what I hope, because uh, if you don't mm -hmm. know how strong the enemy is, you can play freely in your mind and will definitely go on top. Then. Exactly, and it's. Uh, it because it, uh, in my opinion it's it's gonna be uh, PB has everything to lose and North have everything to win. That's true. Because nobody expects them to win. And even so if they lost, it's not the end of the world and not the end of the tournament. So exactly. So everything is open. A, we might see a surprise. And at least you know we you know it's it's like if a team is is a smart team like you know my team and we have actually speculated in you know how many victories and how many draws do we need you know so they they might be thinking the same uh, in the same way. I think and you no, know, it's not it's not gonna be about it. I think nobody yeah, wants to say that they uh, want to calculate how they are in a group, but I think everyone is do it because you still. Yeah. Looking to the other matches, saying, "Okay, is there a chance? Or if my if enemy teams make a mistake, or where I have a good chance to win a round?" So. Mm -hmm. And and for sure, I'm not. You know, you know, it, it would be silly to think that you know we're not a team would not calculate in, in how many victories you need or how many draws you need. And again, you know, there is perhaps some speculation: is are you gonna get in the uh, you know what? What opponent can you face, you know, in the second rounds? So, if you if you move up to the knockout stage, yeah, and there's um, a not short minimum. Try to think about the second place in group. Then they placed in pool A, and have the chance of a little bit lower enemy. I say I think there are no low enemies, but maybe a, a team who's not one of the strongest parts there. So maybe an enemy for you, <laughs> if you're getting on second place. Yeah, I don't uh, know yet. <laughs> we are. I guarantee you, gonna get second place. That's it seems uh, that there's uh, all teams with Knarren playing against GFA <gasps> right now on server three. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> At least I think so. Yeah, and uh, of course, I think we should have a competition in the stream. Uh, who who uh, people think has the weirdest accent? Is it gonna be the German, or is it gonna be the Finn, or is it gonna be the Dane? You know, we need a vote. Who has the weirdest accent? For sure, the Finn. Yeah, I would say so as well. But uh, yeah, at least we need to get that going. That's the most <laughs> important thing tonight, I think. Who's the weirdest accent? <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> who can say? Who can say? Get to the chopper, the most, uh, the most effectively. Who get the most votes? So, on which server I have to look? 
Ah, here, okay. So, we will see if finalized is right and AJ playing against GFR. Right now, it's a Group A match then. For, yeah, both teams are already with two losses in their pocket. And it's the play for hope, I think. <laughs> so they're gonna bring everything. They need yeah. to. They have to win. If not, I think it's pretty over. And I'm joined now yep. and I see on they the screen... Wins. And I see they that... Both have, uh, <laughs> both teams have two matches, two losses, so they seriously need the win, so we are sure to see a battle. Yeah, and I'm on the server right now, but I think, yeah, I need to take up the scene. Now I got it, then. In the point I joined the server, we have the 3 on 2 lead in the first round, I think, for, at the moment, GFA, who playing with Barbar, who have 8 kills already. Piriu is the team leader, Requiem is back, normally a CMG, and JPP who don't play any matches to yet. So missing here Phoenix, who was a playmaker for his team, and I don't know who was the last guy. On the other side it's Big Chester, Oberst and Pisnegge again, like in the last matches, and Fluffy making his appearance in the Rifle Cup 2015 for the first time. And he's also the guy who's staying alive. Alone at the moment. Never mind, he is also dead. So guys, if the stream has some lags or something, just tell us, we just figure out how the bitrate is working and everything. Yeah, I'm on point, man. And? <laughs> yeah, it seems to lag a little. So just lower up the bit rate. You should lower it just a bit, not much, just a little. Like lower it by one hundred maybe. Done Mr. Finalizer. Shots coming out from both sides, nobody happened yet. JPP is going for attacking move traded his life. And looks like Chester alone against two. And again, when I say this, he's already dead. So, from the normal stats, GFA is the favorite in a matchup against AJ. They are also leading 5 to 2 points in midway in the first round. And. Yeah, I think GFA had the best chances normally to get in the next round, but it seems to be like an... how to say... a death game between GFA if they win here and the bunch back in breakfast who win last night against AJ. Mm, it still seems lagging. So I lowered a little the bit. Players seem to be skipped just a bit. Yeah. Done. And also done is the first round in this match. G of A winning the first point. Yeah, the first round, six on two. Baba with eleven kills. Leading his team for the first round win for GFA in this tournament after losing 4 to. Oh no, wait. Was PRKL losing a round against GFA? I think so. Yes. I three. think so, yeah. PRKL won 3 1. Okay, so it was the second round they win. So we just fill the time with the match a little bit until we wait for the match is it between PB and NOD. But good job by GFA second the first round against AJ. So GFA taking the initiative in taking the first win of the tournament between the two teams. You on the server now? No. 
No, I'm watching the stream, you know what, just I can think on the first <laughs> round in front of them. <laughs> so Anthony, I think you can already load up your game because we will start soon with the main event of the evening. Now yeah, we have just uh, need to to restart my system, so I'll be back in a bit. I'll be back. I'll be back. User disconnected from your channel. So we have on your screen AJ on the left, and the French powerhouse GFA on the right. While two AJ players going to the death box, GFA just losing one. As you see now. PB will face against NOD soon. We are just moving over in one or two minutes. Just to fill this time, we have here the match between. Oh, there's still some lag. Damn. Much? Yeah, too much. It, uh, every second it skips a bit. And lower it down a little bit more. No shots fired in the first 10 seconds. But Baba gets another AJ play out. And there comes Spirio <laughs> in a jump, he gets a shot down but gets killed by Overs. Gets Overs gets two. <laughs> and shot in slow death a third one. But I think it's not enough because every one of GF uh, of AJ already dead. But by oh, uh, look, Obers with a great move taking three men out, but the rest of his team do nothing in this point, and so it means it's not enough. It's a 2-0 point lead for AJ. It still has very small lag, like almost none, but it still comes now and then. Oh come on! Very small. Damn. So now it have to work. It have to. What's with the quality? Uh, there are four players now on the FR Mia United. It's FR players on the server, so it's it hasn't started yet. And PB match no one on the server, so we can watch this match for a while longer. GFA leading one zero after the first round. The guy is true. What PB and <laughs> not are all on the server? You're lying to me. So, as we <laughs> said, we're moving over to Redline and we're moving over to PB against not, and we joined right in the <laughs> yeah, just I think 30 seconds too late while PB is oh, ru sorry. running down. It has yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, thanks, no Not problem. <laughs> and it's well, at least you got in. <laughs> it's a 1 0 lead for the team of PB. Müpa, weil wie viel Triple G vor dem Matarasha? So on your left side, as Russians, the Russians, PB, playing with Nip, Forward, Mipavel and Durandal. So I think they are best lineup to how to play, especially with my Pavel or Mipavel, or I don't know how to call it out, and NIB, or Nip, or whatever you want to call him. And on the other side, It's NOD who gets shot down again. While Mulder's going down. 
going with Guterian as well, Stalin is in, who don't play yesterday, Mölders don't play yesterday, and Falco played yesterday, so they changed the half of the team after the match, after their winning match. Hanumark isn't playing tonight, and I don't know who played yesterday as well. <laughs> Alright, I think the lag is gone, seems so. Oh, good. It was just the ping that the match started, but <laughs> a little bit too late. So, <laughs> PB on your left, and as we already said, NOD on the right with the access side this time. Mölders getting a double. Get shut down I'm now. Gonna yeah. I'm gonna kind of comment with you until Anthony comes back. Yes, Mr. Finalized, sir. Yes, boys. <laughs> yes, bro. And PB is going for the free zero, but this time losing two men, so it's getting closer and closer. And I hope we will get some notice about the AJ match and GFA later to tell you who will win this. But as we going down, it was a big advantage for GFA, so. I want to say I predict the win for GFA there. NOD losing again a player. Gujarian sneaking forward, interesting positioning for him. Maybe Nip saw him when he jumps over the wall. Mover coming up. Oh, and goes, take the kill. Muravel is felt to push down. And Murders have one in his back, try to <laughs> run. <laughs> Turning his back, and Muravel executes him right on the spot. And PB take it up to 4 User 0 and. To your and I beat Kapanoid leading with 7 kills so far in the four, first 4 rounds. 4 rounds already? Oh my god. So looking like a pretty uh, strong start of this game by PB and NOD. If they didn't <coughs> know PB is a strong side, they do now. Yeah, PB have okay, to guys, win. PB yeah. have right. to. That was fast. I saw. Uh. You can go uh, join as a spectator on the server. I made room for you. Ah. I'm gonna go check on the GFA match. Thank you, man! And... Oh, they're still shooting! <laughs> nice hit! It was a one-on-one -on -one in the end, but uh, a nice sneaking through was from forward who kills the last man, but it was already in the cap zone, so... Good sneaky move! I keep move. saying that the server is filled up, uh, let's see... A spectator join, you know? Yeah. Alright, here, P Rail yeah. versus Big Chester on the decisive round. A nice Big Chester turning, saving one round for uh, HA. It's now 5 2, GFA leading 5 2 in the second round, so just on the brink of taking the 2 0 lead. But HA fighting back, Big Chester winning that 1 versus 1 close quarter duo. And here it looks like forward 1 2 finishing. Uh, 6 on 0 win, but he gets shot down by Mölders, but he just got forward, nip, finishing the job, and we're going for a 6 to 0 <laughs> win <laughs> from people. That's a fast one. A really fast one. So yeah. it seems like if we're going on, we can start with the next match in 20 minutes, no problem. <laughs> I won't say it's one sided, but it is. It, is, it doesn't it seem is. like they have a they have a key to, uh, to break uh, the BP uh, the BP dominance <laughs> right there. Not BP BP is yeah, some ah, it's something different. You can you get your order or something oh, oh. like that. Yeah. And on the GFA HA match, Kirio taking care of business, winning the six six two round for GFA and GFA now taking the lead to two zero after the first map. Excellent. 
excellent moves by PVO, really taking care of business. So GFA now on the 0 lead in the other match. By the way, when he play PRKL there other matches? I think there are two to go. Yeah, we play tomorrow two matches. Okay. So tomorrow I think the biggest conference we should definitely um, scream this out loudly before. <laughs> Make some noise before that because I will tell you it will be a big, big conference tomorrow night. With about 10 matches. Maybe 11, maybe 12, maybe 200, nobody knows. <laughs> you on the server, Mr. Anthony? I just have to find the right one, yeah. <laughs> okay. Red line, uh, this, because I was looking at the ranked list, you know, that's... Uh, I remember to join a spectator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I just uh, join over friend list mostly, it's the easiest one. Somebody send me the password, I always forget it, whatever it is. I can give you. Okay. And when the guys figure out how the password to the server is, it's the 1 0 lead for PB also in this second round. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn beer. <laughs> but beer is empty. Now need whiskey. Alright, and. The third round begins between GFA and HA in Champions. So we are going with Kudarian. One kill only for NOD in the first point. In close combat, PB have definitely better accuracy here. Forward cleaning the side. Oh, oh. Strong move by GFA. 1-0. I think somebody's fucking with us. There is, uh, yeah, there's no room on the server, even a spectator. I don't know. Mm, nom, nom, nom. That's strange. I'm gonna check what's wrong. I just see nine on the server, nine of eight. Maybe you are too big for the server. Ha <laughs> I am, perhaps. And it's a 2 for 0 lead for PB. <laughs> I so it's really like not uh, have come totally unprepared for this. Doesn't seem like they have the really uh, uh, plan how to handle the Russians. Yeah, I think the biggest problem for NOD is that they don't know any of these maps uh, before. So maybe had a little bit more luck yesterday when they're pacing and not. High skilled team like that, but PB is no red line like their own pocket there. <laughs> PB all makes an old school stab move here. <laughs> and GFA takes the 2-0 lead in the third round. There should really be an extra point for stabbing people. <laughs> like my bar will do at the moment on Gedarian, who was fighting against forward and gets the knife in the back. Anthony, I only saw 9. I can't make any room on the server so it, if it doesn't work I don't know I don't know oh that was I think uh, yeah because one of them dropped so it's Requiem versus 3 he gets one down and another one one on one Two great kills by recommend. Fluffy trying to answer those two kills. I don't know if Requiem noticed where Fluffy is. Fluffy in a better spot, I think. Yeah. Oh, he sees the jump. Fluffy changing positions quickly. Oh, but I think Requiem sees him, and there's the clear shot. It's a three on one. Victory! <laughs> nice turn by Requiem, indeed. Two pretty quick kills, turn it into one versus one, and then 
a clear shot, patience. He took that win and 3 0 for GFA. It's very interesting to see how the uh, uh, PB team here still dominates the flanks totally. I think you are now on the server and I am too, so we are both now in, in the NOD versus PB match. Exactly. And seeing the same picture as PB runs down NOD making a 4 like to 0. There is no tomorrow. There NOD isn't. The have to play <laughs> even more defensively now if they want to you know, get at least a point on the, on the board here. But how they want to play defensively, they are just hiding in the, I think, far back positions that we have. Just see if how they move out here. Yeah, it's it's going to be very interesting to see why did not uh, use the far left from their perspective behind the uh, two tramps. That is a very favorable position. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. They're far up. No support. Two guys. Three guys in the back. And yeah. The starting goes down. Guderian tries to answer with aggressive move. Yeah. I'll get shut down. You know, they're way, if you if you notice, they're way too spread out, in my opinion. And it's Mölders on the obelisk fighting against three men. He got one. But he still have my Mupavel and... I think Duran Dahl got two, him. though. But, uh, yeah, they're just gonna wait it out, you know. As, as we talked about before, the German team can actually just... The Russian German team can actually just uh, sit it out. He has to come for them, but, uh, yeah. Nobody hits anyone, and now he comes with the knife, and my just runs away. <laughs> that wasn't yeah. enough. <laughs> so it was quite unnoticed that Mipa were missing so many shots. The chance was open. Yeah. But haven't any effect. But on that them. is a total devastation. That is the yeah. Uh, I think the problem was this. It's <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was Requiem again, alive, alone, but this time he misses a clear shot and loses the two versus one situation. And AJ taking the first comeback, it's 4 1 the GFA, but AJ now trying to fight and come back to the game. It's very obvious here that uh, the North has uh, had no response whatsoever. Yeah, they mostly got one or maybe two out, but they are still two members alive. This time it's Mipav and Durandal. <laughs> now they're simply not pa capping the point here. They're I just want to go. They just wait for each other so they could both get the points. I think so. so are they uh, are they trying to manipulate the stats here? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, but team points will not calculate. <laughs> mm. So in the end, it's a two-zero round lead, and both with a six-zero, six-zero. So not a single point PB give no. up to yet. And as a new team, as NOD, after winning their first match, maybe the dreams are getting crushed a little bit now. Dreaming I of think, the uh, they're getting squished pretty good. Yeah, it's, uh, there's nothing uh, they can do. But we're Seems going like on Spreewald, and Spreewald, you know, can change a lot. <laughs> and I think PRKL knows it as well how Spreewald can work for the lower team. Everyone remember 2013, PRKL losing against AJ. <laughs> Good half, no, okay. <laughs> and once again, Requiem uh, alone. Alone against two this time, Bismarck and Oberst. Yeah, and I have uh, had experience on this map. Quite a few rounds played. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> just a few. <laughs> a few too far. But oh, now. Just 50. You know, 15 rounds? <laughs> too much. Too much, mate. 15 rounds only now, there are more. <laughs> You've at least 20 points given up or something like that, so I think it was a good one. Yeah. Oh, four <laughs> just standing in front of Feldkov, but don't saw him in the first second. Yeah, it's uh Again I don't know I don't know what North is is thinking if they uh, you know. 
I hope a little bit that uh, after Redline, who is deep in Mother Russia land, in the spray world near Berlin, NOD have better chances as a German team, but <laughs> this forest don't work in the first point. But I'm very interesting to see Nord what they, they choose to do here. If they choose to stay at the back line here, they actually excellent defense, but they still choose to go pretty far up in my opinion. And I think against Two PB. Guys in the bridge in the middle, yeah. It's, uh, but one for one trade. And maybe you're right, maybe they should wait for the first rush. They should just uh, wait at least, you know, but it, look at that, they're getting outflanked, they're getting gunned down, they why are they picking the fights they cannot win? Why are they insisting on getting those first, uh, you know, the, getting the match done in the first, uh, you know, 15 seconds? Maybe the believing of a totally um, different round now isn't there after gets crushed 13 points in a row. Just getting one kill out of the first two points. Yeah, of course. And let, let's see here if uh, what they're gonna do. But uh, notice how they actually how far up they go to deploy. Look at that. And yeah, again, again. Yeah, Guderian, I think is the only one who can really hold in gunfights with PB. And, and AJ, yeah, fighting back. Five two, GFA leading. One round been away from the win. In the third round, yeah. Mm. So this game started 20 minutes later and are on the same point in the game. <laughs> Waiting for Duran Dahl. Maybe they notice, win. Uh, notice, try and show the score for the people so they can see uh, a little bit longer what the scores are. But uh, yeah, it's uh, you know it's, it's devastation. Nord have two points, two kills in total. So let's see again if they choose, still choose to run that far up instead of actually holding back, spreading out on the back line. Come on, spread out on the back line. At least Godurian stays back. Stun it far up again. They're a bit further back this time. And look at that, they're actually alive for a bit longer now. Mm. Yeah. So, so by now, North should have figured out that the uh, PB sends two guys over the bridge, actually to dominate the bridge, and hatch each guy, uh, two guys in the deep flanks. So, it doesn't seem like they want to learn their lesson here. They they keep on pushing up, like all the way up in the middle. Things are here turning up here. In the other match, HA winning another round and 5 3. So the comeback might be possible. GFA leading 5 3 in the first round of second map. Let's have a look here. North, three guys in the bridge now. Uh, yeah. So, so for the fifth time. Sending two guys over the top of the bridge is not working for North. Let's see if they try again. For a sixth round. <laughs> Pretty you know, so look like totally aced. <laughs> yeah, but at some point you gotta, you know, you gotta see, okay, my this tactic we're using right now is not kinda working. But it, of course it's gonna be difficult, frustrating here, not even getting kills. Let's notice. Yeah, two guys up the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it's the same picture again. But Kuderian is alive. Yeah. He will make it. I'm sure. Yeah, that's one. And uh, yeah. Hey, leading all the kills for his team. Yes, Barbar alone against Oberst and Fluffy. So AJ having a chance to make the game even closer. 5-4? It's 5-3 now and AJ might get the win to 5-4, five, five, yeah. But Barbar has the chance! He misses the shot but gets the second! Oh, Barbar gets two kills! 
and GFA wins the uh, third round, so it's 3-0 lead for GFA. <laughs> what a turn by Barbar -Bar right there. GFA 3, HA 0. Seems the Union and the GRE match is also starting. I'm going to go take a look there. Yeah, so um, so I'm going to be very interested here to see if uh, if North is going to you know try for the seventh round in a row running up the middle, or <laughs> what uh, if they, if they, if they, if they want to try something revolutionary here and see if they can get a. I hear some like, um, something like sarcasm here. First round of car stations smear out to Union. 1 0 for Union. And it looked like a sneak cap. Everyone didn't die. It was a sneak cap in car station. Is Union playing against GRD? GRD. So this match started already, and we have Dan in 30 minutes, I think. Or oh, when it started? What was the other match? <laughs> I forget it. Uh, Mia, Mia Unite FR. And they play so in five minutes. So let's have a look maybe. here. And North, let's go, boys. Up the middle. Hey, surprise! Three guys, four guys up the middle this time. Yeah. Feldkoch is coming forward. Yeah. Ooh. But so, days, man. Yeah. so this is probably gonna be, gonna be YOLO rounds. But the YOLO round have too much more. Greediness and need to more uh, knife oh. attacks. And now uh, PB is starting to pick up guns. They might be running out of ammo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, 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 really hard. Wow. Maybe it would be more interesting if we got just give one clip to PB players. There's a there four versus one. He got three kills already. It would be fun a game mode where all the guns were just lying in a pile in the middle. You have to run up and get them. So like the Hunger Games? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. And again, Nord in the middle. Yeah. Hey, he lost that battle. Nip too fast and knife on Stalin. Oh, <laughs> Jam! Squad. Jam yeah. denies. Union 2-0. So that is a little bit unexpected that Union making such a good call after losing yesterday against Liga. What surprised I think everyone. So there's still a chance in this group if GRD and IDF uh, GRD wins and today Union wins that we have three teams with six points there. What happened then? <laughs> I have no idea. Then you probably have to look at the, at the individual rounds. How many rounds one team won? Yeah, definitely, but I think for Liga they are thinking about we are done and maybe not. <laughs> but, uh, okay, we have to say the, thir the two third best seeded teams are also going through. And with six points you are definitely through the group stage. Even if you are just three teams with this points. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think this is gonna be over in uh, about three minutes. Agree. <laughs> mm, uh, it's uh, pretty devastating. Uh, North has no recipe, you know, they're not even. At the moment, it's a 21 to zero in points. Yeah, they really haven't. You know, they they it doesn't seem like they're learning. Of course, at this point, it's too late. But at least for the practice, it doesn't seem like they're learning anything. They keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again. Oh! Murders was sneak in the back or forward, but... but yeah, kids just won. Yeah. But hey, Murders already two kills. Is the reason why the uh, PB guys are waiting for each other, I don't know. But Maybe they want to show some... Uh, team spirit. Might be. Getting tired? It's Saturday. 
Yeah. But let's see here if, uh, if Nord can wake me up with a couple of fantastic rounds here. I hope I can wake you up with the match Menno for United against FR. I'm really looking forward for this after. That was a little bit... Mm, I don't don't say sad, it was a little bit... Uh, I don't know how to say... Yes, I'm a, I am a little bit sad of the performance. <laughs> uh, I expected a little bit more war in this. Mm. And uh, just one kill for NOD. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just one uh, point away. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. Like the yeah, the North not uh, you know not at least trying to do something. So in the same moment we're still talking, we w just want to recognize GFA win their first game in this tournament and mm -hmm. AJ lost the third game in a row so that means for sure AJ don't will move in the next round and uh, GFA will have a death battle against Bunch, Wet and Breakfast for the third place in Group A because I think PRK should be okay with yeah. Hofgen. Uh, this game is over and turns in a totally... Yeah, it's definitely over. Jesus yeah. God. It's a hard loss. Over here in the Union GRD match, GRD has made a comeback and it's 2-2 two, two at the moment. Time to just move over for the viewing on the match of finalized. So finalized will commentate a little bit, and I get him some drink at the same time. Oh, Tommy Hugh making an excellent sneaky move to cap, but can Octavio no, he this can't. Time. Next he time, into the cap we will crush them to Tovarish. draw the game to three three. Union had to lead, and they, it was a two one situation. But Tommy Hugh sneak through the enemy lines to cap. GRD vs Union car station smell. 3-3 in the first round. <coughs> and now in this round, GRD taking the upper hand with three kills in Octopus Royo left alone against three players. I think he spotted now. Tommy Hu misses the first shot. Oh, but the Union player shot in the back and GRD take the lead 4-3. And ongoing. <coughs> Novator running up the stairs, under fire by the desert race, but Ace doesn't get the Ace and misses. And Novator gets up to the top, let's see if he can get some kills. Good advantage on Tommy Hugh, this is the first shot. And the second one, can he get the third? No, Tommy Hugh counters with a good kill. That was a very interesting kill because it would have the Union a nice advantage. But now it jam alone. Jam alone against Desert Days, but Jam is trying to make make the moves to cap. Let's see if Desert Days expect this. He hears the run. Jam is a oh, but Jam gets the shot in instead. Victory! Union. We will all be heroes of the Soviet Union. Nice. Nice fighting.
Ace opening the kills. <laughs> I know what the rotation is at Ace. But two sold to control. Good response on Medis at close range. And gets down up to Barroyo as well and running into the cap. But Champ! Oh, Champ just running past him, but Novator is there to help. Help his teammate, and it's Tommy Hugh again left alone against two players. Replay of the one round where he sneaked the cap. Let's see if it happens again. He's close. Champ is there expecting him. This is the shot, and Tommy Hugh gets the kill. Novator is up, can he get? No, he doesn't try and is one, this time. once again, Tommy Next Hugh. time, we will crush them <laughs> Replay. too much. Getting from 2-1 to one situation, kills the defender and gets the cap. I'll be back. Anthony, are you here, man? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, do you want to come and commentate on this match? Uh, yeah, but just, uh, wait a second. Okay, uh, I have to disconnect before you can come, so tell me when you're ready. I think, uh, Mivu is starting also in 5 to 10 minutes latestly. It seems like round number one going in favor of GRD. So Union lost another round and need to be cautious now because it don't need so much to get out of this tournament here. And at the moment, 13 Guards Rifle Division looking strong. Okay, Anthony, you can go in now. And round number two started on car stations maybe at when we have the first point going in favor of 13 guards rifle division. Oh I see this bullshit again that it's filled up, it says. Wait, I leave first. Maybe Ivan has earned his victory, but it'll be short lived. And when we are back, it's a two on one point lead still. For the allies, so for the 13 guards rifle who making the first kill, it's a battle of Novator against Desert Ace, but Novator gets the kill. W one guy tries a run through, so the game is a little bit more proactive. And Tommy Hu is alive and too swole to control 
Covering left and right side. Ah, there it goes. Hey! And the cavalry arrived. Of course, and you know, this, uh, yeah, casting, it's very, uh, you know, it's very dominated by that, uh, that big square or the big cross up in the top, so on the top of the building, it's a. Uh, yeah, we had a nice fight at this point where Desert Ace fighting against, I think, Novator, but both going down after that. And now mm -hmm. it's a two on one for Union. And there comes the last player to sneak in the back and uh, get shot. Stop. But nice idea if you are the last one, just sneak mm -hmm. because the guy, your team thinking you but are just camping. Yeah, but again, he had one minute and 12 seconds. You know, he could have waited a bit longer. See if you get it picked up and it's the one for two kills. I'm gonna be very interested to see how they spread out if they choose to use the top as well. Somebody's going for that, uh, for the elevated position. So let's take a look from above. One is already running up. Novator, yeah. yeah. See, he's gonna be dominating from up there now. He must start picking people off. <laughs> but maybe he don't need because his team already got yeah. three kills. Get everyone to Novator. Ah, yes. <laughs> he wasn't necessary. <laughs> ah, it wasn't necessary whatsoever. And it's a change in the points. Union getting the third point and leading 3-2. Two at the moment. But what I'm really lacking, like as well in the last time, the last uh, game we uh, we just saw, I really, I really need to see teams where things are starting to go wrong actually trying to change up their tactics, trying to do something different instead of just the same meat grinder over and over again. Yeah, that's what we spoke in front. Uh, spoke in front of the matches that you have to be mm -hmm. aggressive ideas and passive ideas depends on the gameplay. Yeah. But here again, yeah, Nevator is uh, allowed to go up top, totally uncontested. Yeah. And works out for him. Yeah. Yeah, they, it's uh, you know they need to uh, recognize that it's actually something going on up there. Yeah, and actually somebody's going for it. Now he gets an enemy and Company. kills him. Nice. Swallowed control, yes. Tell me who was the yeah. last man alive. Yeah, and down he goes. So, Union quite using the map effectively and getting the third point in a row, leading four to way more, way more uh, thought through. The actions are way more deliberate, um, in my opinion. It's uh, we're gonna have to see the Russian team here actually stepping up and and, and handling the uh, this situation right now. Otherwise, they're gonna get stomped. You think it might be an idea yeah. to give one people that also go have to go up there? Exact, or, or at least get Desert Ace or, or two Swords Control to go to the left and see if they can shut down Novator going up there. So Novator is up there again now, and they do not even recognize it. Desert Ace tries to handle it. Yeah, but he's down now. Yeah, and now they're gonna get shot in the back. There we go. Double for Novator. Exactly. But to swall to control is alive and he He may be where he is, is he's he on hiding. his own side? Yeah, he's, he's on his own side, side. okay. Yeah. And it's just a matter of time before he gets spotted and taken up by Novator when he's just gonna be able to move around up there too early uncon uncontested. But he hear him. And so yeah, of course, guys, in the, in the chat stream, I'm watching it right now. So if you have any questions or any comments, just post them in the chat, and we will uh, try and answer them. You know, any questions about the game or whatever, just try and answer, uh, type them in, and we will try and answer them. But here, actually, um, two swallow to control is actually playing just after my heart here. As you know, one minute. And 13 seconds here, he can easily, you know, just camp this a bit, see if he can pick up a couple of guys. 
Yeah, but on the other but side, he he need to do in the late game something because but, but, Union but can still, sit on it. Still, he he has you know, still he has a minute, so he moves around. Did he get that hit? Yes, yeah, he did. He, so one now one. he just if he knows that if he's smart, he knows that Novator is up there. No, Novator so is down. He, he is down. Yeah. It's just my reason. He was last seen there in the back, and maybe. He hey, he's down. He needs to go for it now. Oh, he got him! Oh my God! For God's sakes, people! When you see somebody slow dying, you just wait until they fucking die. You do not bomb rush him. Yeah, and with this, Marisa, because of the li uh, lead of points, Marisa secured the point for Union. Exactly. So Exactly, and he had, you know, he bomb rushed a, a guy that was bleeding out with, uh, you know, with 26 seconds to go. You know, that is, that is not the smart choice in my opinion. So in the end, Marisa saved the point for a 5-2 to two lead in the second round. So it looks like Union can take a round back and going with a draw out of the f first map car station. Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn up my mic then. And people are asking here if there's any teams they can join. And finalize, you can uh, talk something about that, where they can join up uh, teams. Yeah, uh, so, uh, like Suki mentioned quickly in the comments, go to arrow2arena.com and sign up. You can sign up through Steam, just log in with your Steam account. And then join in the fun. You can find a team if you want or make Make a team of yourself, new team, and have a territory league coming up. You can join up for that. It's a rival cup right now. You, of course, you can't join anymore, but you can still bet on the matches and stuff. So check it out. Nice and actually a surprise win there. Yeah, and <laughs> it's a backdoor run for the team of uh, Ferdinand Guards rifle. One man just going. Okay, I cap. I don't need to kill. And uh, and as a German, you know quality of a good backdoor run. I know this. Ah, <laughs> uh, and Novator is still what? up at the top here. <laughs> yeah? Okay, I missed the joke, sorry. Ah, get it. Ah, Novator is still dominating from that top position. I'm thinking more uh, about you have a U-Porn channel, not a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, yeah I have both, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, that's okay. <laughs> Novator here. Tommy's going for it, but they, they spotted him. He's gonna go down. Oh, what? Can they hit him? Can they hit him, Tommy? Oh, he got him! He said slow down, he got him! <laughs> oh, my. oh, that was so close, Tommy. God. Damn it, that was nice. And Novator secures the round in the end for the team. Mm -hmm. While he was or already Tommy capping was nearly done and then... Yeah. So yeah, that's... Uh that's a kudos to Tommy for actually trying that, actually trying to, to get some initiative here. But, um, you know, too little, too late. But you but see, again, you know, the, the entire game here, Novator wasn't contested up at that top uh, platform. Yeah, and that's why he has 11 kills. He's leading his team with the kills, yeah. and as you said, the position on top, where he got these kills from. Exactly, you need, you at least just try and shoot him as he runs up the stairs, if nothing else. You know, he's got to be vulnerable all the way up the stairs there. So why not uh, at least have two guys shooting at him like a fucking firing squad? <laughs> and we go again after the slow paced game, after the brightness of the dark map of Car Station, into the sunshiny Midway Island for hopefully some more stepping attacks. <laughs> so this is just gonna be again on this Midway web map. Wap, mid me wap, yeah, mid me map that uh, mid way, come on, <laughs> <laughs> are gonna be uh, are gonna be crucial. Uh, I think we're gonna look forward to see some jumping shots off those boxes for sure. You know, I predict pink shots, and I want to see jumping shots. That's uh, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know if the jumping shots 
are that quite effective. I see it mostly on Güterbahnhof, not so often <laughs> on Midway. Um, but let's see, I, when I expected, I expected from guys like Desert Ace or on the mm. other side Nova Tour players who are having a big experience lead. And yeah, at least some people diving off. You know, I want to see a dive off in the top of the box with their bayonet step. Just diving off the box and stabbing somebody. That could be nice. But yep. Totally agree. Mm -hmm. So Just it's waiting for the last player here to join, looks like. So it looks like Man of War United. Oh, now they're starting the game at least. So maybe the game will start soon. That means maybe, maybe if my guys still have time, we can go in for another match after that between FR mm -hmm. and Man of War United. A little bit confused about all this timing of the matches tonight. But in the end, yeah. if it works, everything's fine. But again, here we're going to have to see if. if the team that gets behind with that one point in the beginning, if, if they're able actually to, uh, you know, to do something to correct, you know, what mistakes are being made inside the, in the game here, yeah. that's uh, I think that's always going to be crucial. How you recover if uh, if uh, you get in trouble. Yeah, that's true. And as we said before, the motto of the day was the decision day. So. Um, the decisions of today two are made already. The one is that AJ definitely don't will make it to the next round and out of the, uh, um, out of in the group stage. They are out of the tournament. So, and on the other side mm -hmm. we have PB with a great victory but after now, NOD uh, are true. You are leaving the game. Two players just left. So I am back on the screen, and um, it was seems to be decided that Man of War United and FR are playing a three on three. Maybe one of the teams don't get four players. And as I come to the server, I just see a triple kill that meets an ace for Vlad Kaiser, and it makes the points even to one to one at the moment. So at the same time, the other match will protest on the um, Europe server. Maybe finalize. Can have a small look in this. Yeah, I will take a look soon. On Union against Ferdinand's Rifle, where was the draw behind or after the first matchup? And me and Mr. Anthony will go for Men of War United FR, the Group C match. Who will survive? Who will going on? And Vlad Kaiser staying against three guys this time. Uh, I just... Anthony said that he has to make some phone calls, so he has to go away at least for a bit. <laughs> okay. So I will stay on and FR getting this third point to one lead. So just a small look, Samon is playing Buckfest and Kommunister on the FR side, Men of War United playing with Vlad Kaiser, Duel and Kozic. It's a Czech Republic matchup against, I think, Brazil. <laughs> and the Brazilians rushing down, Men of War United. I think we have really fast rounds here, uh, really fast points, because we have one man down for both sides as an agreement. <laughs> and it seems like the server is lagging a bit for one member of Man of War United because we're playing on an NA server. But both teams have a disadvantage, the higher pings are for the FR team. Both teams losing one player. And Communista with a triple kill gets every one of. Men of War United. Make it 4 to 1.
So this time the start is better for Man of War United. And the ending as well, this time Kozic ending with a double and closing up the points a little bit. It's a 4 and 2 now. Really quick rounds in 29 seconds only. So, what's going up in GRD against Union? It's uh, Union leading 3-2 here and now the new round just begins. So Union leading 2. So, they always... 3 versus 3 in this round. Oh, and 2 versus 2. So Vlad stay alone against three men and that doesn't work out. It's a five on two lead. And here's Cham alone versus two FR players trying to take the round. Let's see how he does. Oh Oh, he shut down, flanked from both sides, and uh, GRD comes to draw the game to Tomihu taking two kills and GRD taking the fourth really. No, Cham is still alive. And Cham actually counters on kill with Tomihu. So Desert, Ra Desert Ace versus Cham to decide which team takes the fourth we lead in this round. And it's Desert Ace with kill to the fence and fourth three lead for GRD in this match. So it's the end of round number one between FR and Men of War United. The favorites getting the 6-3 win in round number one. And over here in the other match in Union and GRD, Union now coming back to throw the game and it's 4-4. So the first uh, third round is really going close, 4-4. Let's see if uh, either team can get up hold. Take five rounds, which team does it? Which team takes the grasp of one lead? And here we're going to the second round, Men of War United. Point number one for them. With a clean point for them. Everyone doing one kill for his team. And here it's Union taking the 5 4 lead. So they are grasping that. 2-1 round lead as well. 
five four for Union at the moment. And it's Marisa alone against two cheery players. Oh, Marisa gets hit on Desert Ace. Gets him to slow death. Too slow to control. Oh! What the kill! <laughs> He's from the slow death! In the Desert Ace from the slow death hits Marisa's head. And GRD comes to 5-5, so it's the deciding round of the first round in the second map. 5-5, exciting times living here between GRD and Union. Yeah, and on the other side, Man 04 United fighting back in round number 2, taking the lead with 2-0. Nice shooting from Vlad Kaiser, getting everyone off the enemy side out. <laughs> What we already said, they need to fight back if they want to stay in the tournament. Minimum a draw, but for a good chance, they normally need a win. And it's a 2 versus 3, GRD having the upper hand in this decided round. Oh, oh and it's October Royo alone against 3. And yeah, TRD, take, take it to 6-5 and they claim the first round of the second map. So I think it's 2-1 for TRD now, right? Agree. GRD is so nice. definitely minimum having a draw and Duel is fighting against Seiman and Kommunista, but that wasn't too much for him. And the gap getting a little bit close, Seiman going for a 2 for 1. Oh, my arrow <coughs> fast. And the fourth point started. Kozic dying right from the start. <laughs> At the same time, also Duel and Vlad Kaiser going down. And FR gets two points back, and it's a uh, drawn points. So if I are putting much looking for their long range aiming skills to count here, because staying in the back and make the kills true. Just communista is moving up. Two and two now. One on one, two on, and a two on one win for Vlad Kaiser against Kommunista and Buckfirst, who are leading with seven kills, a kill score also, and he is definitely the playmaker for Man of War United, and make a three on two lead happen in the second round. GRD has taken the one zero lead in the last round here, and they are two versus one October Royal alone.
Oh, and Barrio is shut down. And now GRD taking the 2 0 lead. And start in their attempt to win the match. And here we're going with a 3 on 3, so a small second round to get. No gifts to anybody. So Men of War United really much need Vlad Kaiser to get this point for them. Trading with Communista. Just duel alive. Who gets Samen? Sooks Jeffer makes a great move for GRD. And it's again, oh now 2 versus 1, Octavero gets one kill. But Union having real... Uh, Union not really playing so well in this last uh, last round. It's 3-0 for GRD now. Yeah, and if I get the comeback in round number 2, now leading also here 4-3. and three. Buckfast winning the 1-1 one one against Duel. And the game is on. Everyone tried to get Samen out, but nobody hits him. Now Samen. Oh, one. <laughs> Union making a real aggressive round. Coming back to 3-1 with an excellent performance in this round. So Union showing they have not given up yet. Coming back to this game, 3-1 lead for GRB. Yeah, and on the same time on your screen it's the 5-3 lead for FR, so it seems like also the second round will go in favor of the Brazilian guys. So if FR wins, that will be uh, also another decided battle tomorrow between Rifles with Attitudes, the mixed team from Doom Shooter against Forza Revolucionara for first place in group number C. The game is not over yet, but FR looks as great favorites as they're going for the 2 0 round win. And GRD now taking 4 1. Taking the game to 4 1. And they are close to. Sealing the deal. <laughs> the match, but Union still Again, we Union have managed crushed to win our enemies. The next round and uh, cut down the lead to 2 4. They still have a chance, but 5 1 is too brutal. Let's yeah, see how it is. Does. Okay, last chance for Union. Yep, as you see on your screen, Union fighting for the draw and for United. Definitely <laughs> Not looking so good for Union after all. Oh, but it actually does. Union might have a chance to come back in this game. And there it is. Union taking the game to 2-4, so it's not over just yet. And on the FR side we have a uh, uh, player... The flash is won this time. First, Next the time for we will crush them, Tovarish. I have no idea how to speak this name. The, the, the food or something like that, I don't know. Uh, Tifo. Uh, I don't know, sorry. Hey, yeah, I think if Union managed to win one more round, you should come and check this match. I'm sorry. If there's a pass at least. Oh, yeah, Union taking three men down already there. 
And they might get this game to 4 3. It's only Deserter is alive, but he's a tough one. And here we're joining on Gudabanov. Let's see if Men of War United. And fight back. What a move by Desert is taking two men down and it's down to one versus one. The lifeline of Union has grown thin. It's only October Royal this again. This time it was Duel who making the kills for his team. Same one on Kozic, same one gets the double in the end. 2-0. Point lead for F uh, and Union fighting back. The four and three now. Mister finalized. It's four two, four two. It's one versus one. It's a very intense situation. Desert okay, Chase versus okay. Octopus Royal. <laughs> Who will take the? God damn it. And it's Desert Ace taking the match to 5 to Whoa, what a what a nail biter right there. And GRD taking a grasp on the win. They only Victory. need one more round victory. We will all be heroes of the Soviet Union. And Men of War United on their side, they are fighting back. And the, the second point managed to get the kills in under 30 seconds and moving into the cap. So we will have one on one in points in round number three. Medical start for the Union. They lose one, they lose two, they lose three and it's one versus four, one versus three. So jam everything on his so shoulders and it's too heavy for him. And GRD take the 6-2 win and 3-1 win for GRD Union not managing to take the win. That's the Indeed. end of this match. Over. Out of the screen. So that means Union finishing the group stage with just 3 points. With, which is uh, definitely, I think, not enough to going through. Maybe as the best third place team, but I'm not sure yet because after losing against Liga and now against third guards rifle division, both have six points and surely at once. So congrats to Liga and third in guards rifle division. So just a decision now in group C and it looks pretty good for FR at the moment who leading two on one. Forgot to change the screen. So Kozic gets a double. Now against Kommunista. Oh, but Kommunista is there. And he's alone now. Yeah, it was a last shot in his magazine. This is dual. Oh, can't get the third! And neither the fourth! Dual is close by and uh, Kommunist runs out of bullets! And this <laughs> apple team by Meow United works on Kommunista! Yeah, Vlad Good guys are play. waiting out and making the kills. That's how Dual ran strafing and Kommunista just didn't hit and that made the play. Too bad Kommunista couldn't that good hit. It's down quickly by Kommunista. And Vlad Bezer gets a revenge kill. But Kommunista comes up strong, fast, misses the kill. But it's Vlad versus Kommunista in the middle and Kommunista with an easy shot. It was easier for him to wait. Yeah. And it's just dual on the left back Medica plays. Oh, but he gets one 
And communists are just one on one against duel. Oh, it shots him in the back. Finger shot in the ass. They're just communists are alive. I think two men against him. This is close by to duel. And duel gets him in the one on one. So two members alive. And the game is in this round still equal. Both teams having three points in their pocket. But also in the first rounds to the half of the round. Really good performance by Men of War United but then FR catching the advantages and moving two times with 6 to 3 I think. Oh, Communists are dying quickly. This time it's Saman making the kills for his team. It's just Flat Kaiser, I think, alive. Tries to get a quick shot, misses that. They have to fight against two, but nobody hits him. He can't, can't get hit either, and there is the final. Eventually comes the bullet that kills him after so many missed shots. A good decision by FR if you can't hit him, just go in and force him to look to a completely different side and then it's an easy shot. <laughs> so Men of War United doing equal everyone, 5 kills for all of the members, having overall 15 kills. FR just with four, uh, 14, but in the end, the round lead is for FR. Kozic... Oh, nice by Kommunista, nice two kills by Kommunista. Yeah, Kozic flanked him, but missed the shot. And it's Vlad Kaiser one on one against Kommunista. Can Communist get the full? Oh no, he can't deny it by Vlad Kaiser. Yeah, at this time Vlad Kaiser doing better. But good attempt from Mystic. Got two kills and then lost the Chiol, but still a good, good enough effort. Game 4 4. So definitely the closest round to yet. Maybe Man of War United can fight back. Oh no, it was what is yours? Simon. I'm just killing him, it's just some nice bug. It's a 2 on 2. Yeah. Oh, and Kosic goes down by Bonista's shot. And not the best spot for Jewel. The fault coming on the flank. Oh, Komunista was expecting that, but didn't get the shot. And now, the vote on the other flank. And there's the kill. Yep. Again, there are good, good team uh, flanking by FR. They didn't rush in too fast. Played patiently and got the round wins. And 
So we are one point away from a decision of this game. Gosic gets communist in the middle, but it's now free for Seyman to shoot him, but Gosic still, he got communist down. But it's only dual against two again, so the move on communist was not enough to bring in the round. Or let's see if dual can keep Miao United in play. Oh, Seyman gets the shot, and is that the winning shot for FR? Is it 3-0 yeah. now? It's the 3-0, and that means not only that Man of War United is finally out of the tournament, it means also that there's no chance for Iron Cross to move on. So, Group C is decided. I see Iron Cross is out of the tournament, as well as Man of War United, and on the other side, Forza Revolucionara, and of course, Rivals with Attitude. Moving into the group stage will be just a decision between first and second place between Rivals with Attitudes and Forza Revolucionara tomorrow evening. Of course we will still see the last round, but indeed very sad to see Mia United go. It uh, they have real young good talent, so to say. Especially Vlad Pizer, a very strong rifle. And also I see Iron Cross uh, Svensson, very good rifle player for a long time. Unfortunate to see he, him out of the tournament as well. Yeah, in the end, was the problem that they just just get a draw against Man of War United. So they got that draw against Forza Revolucionar was in need, but in the end, don't manage their Man of War United team. So a little bit unlucky for them, but happens if you play games. So now the last appearance of Man of War United in this tournament. Maybe they can get one round with them. And <laughs> they tried it like Sugi with a stepping attack, but just run into three rifles. <laughs> Didn't work this time. You are not Finnish, guys. You can't do that. So, in the end, wild game is still running. Mm, I don't think so. I'm gonna check. There was that ranked match. Uh, no, this this is the last game. I think. This is the last game tonight, yeah. I just changed it. GRD already 3 1 lead against or uh, win against Union. Union mostly out, not sure yet. DB 1 4 0 against NOD. And we have United with a strong round here. Take it uh, 1 1. Fritz has earned his victory. But it will be short-lived. Same spot, but taken down by Comunista. So it's up to... No. Already the round for FR. Yep, it's a good one. Lead. Lead. 
So this round, I really have to say. Hey, yeah. it's the scoreboard sport in the stream again. <laughs> oh yeah, there was something. I know. You are totally right. So really quiet at the moment. Save and shut down. And because it's shut down as well. Communist finds Dual and his Flutter. Oh, he gets down Communista there. So it's the Vod and Vlad Kaiser up against each other. Evelyn Kaiser on the train, on the defensive side, and he hits him! Luck gets killed! I just say good job, and 2 and 2. Der Fritz hat diesen Sieg verdient, aber er wird nicht lange davon sein. So do we all shooting from the far right? Yeah. Get same in. From the corner. Oh, Gothic. Gothic trying to advance and is shot down, so it's not dual. He's coming up a bit. But proning again. But he wasn't seen by the enemy yet. Now common is us on. Oh. Oh, and dual is shot. A little bit under Far unlucky. from the other side of the map. The foe down. The foe. So 3 2. Yeah, looks like another close round between those both teams. So, all rounds wasn't one sided. But the better ending in the end was every time for FR with 2 or 3 points more. And FR running for the cap zone, it's a phone too. So a uh, rather quick round round there for two for FR. Yep, two points to go. For and the four zero is one could not blame Mio United for not playing to their full level in this last round because, you know, they are out of tournament. But they do have their pride. But Gothic's pride is put in the test by Seaman's bullet in peace. Yeah, and there's yes. uh, unfortunately Vlad Kaiser and Svensson, as you said before, uh, out of this tournament. Both players are really likely to see in a one on one tournament. But, yeah. <laughs> Unlikely, both are both the teams out before that can be happen. So for me personally, it's the hardest loss of those both players for a one on one competition. I'm excited to see what that one on one competition will have in store because 
uh, so many great teams in this tournament. You know, so many great players that not everyone just can fit in. Yeah. So it will be fun to see uh, just who will take one-on-one -on -one tournament. Yeah, and we're just not it's only the best players, will be the best of the best players who are playing there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So here, closing up on the final round of the stream tonight. Maybe. The <laughs> whole Meow United team on the same platform. Trying to put those rifles in the first one headshot, one down. Yeah, it seems like both teams losing a player. Man of all United, Kozic, last down. one. Let's see if Kozic can make his mark. Last move of the tournament, but he shot down and there. Last kill by Comunista of tonight's stream. 6-2 and 4. Is it 4? Yeah, it's 4-0 for FR there. I agree it yeah, is. Yeah, nice. So that means... Nice. We have... Not that. That we have changed. So in the end we have... A 3-1 victory for GRD against Union, that means GRD are true, Union maybe with a lucky loser, but mostly out. Man of War United definitely out, same as I see. For Serial Lucinara and also the team of RWA in the next round and PB with their third win in the third game are definitely true this round against NOD who had no chance and don't get a single point today. So. Thanks for watching our conference and definitely show up tomorrow when we have, I think, a 10 to 12 or whatever matches will happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, a whole shitload of matches. Uh, yeah, a uh, hell of matches. So, <laughs> see you tomorrow evening for many, many more matches. Bye-bye. Yeah, Thank you, finalize. Thanks, Anthony. See you tomorrow. Yeah.